Sand Rock's located here in a, a beautiful center, Alabama, and that's C-E-N-T-R-E, -E, not E-R. And uh, it is the crappy capital of the world, says so on the sign. What makes Sand Rock unique is it's not this uh, long, outstretched wall that goes on forever. It's these outcroppings of huge... Uh, boulders which have all sorts of faces on the front on the back to the sides so they can be shadows during the the uh, uh, summertime dreamscape one of the best routes here at sand rock it's a sport route it has a little bit of everything which is the reason it, it's it's so good it has this uh, face that runs for about four bolts it's small it's crimpy the feet are good and then it becomes steep with long reaches through some horizontal cracks and then ends as you uh, work your way out to an arete and you lay back that arete to the end. It's a tall climb, probably runs 60 to 70 feet. Uh, first put up by uh, uh, Watford and Glass, uh, Curtis Glass, I spoke to him and when he first put that route up there are two bolts on the face, now there's four and the rest he put up on gear. A lot of uh, a lot of good mentoring, I would call it. A lot of there's always somebody willing to show you a route is or help you or give you that quality piece of beta. Thanks to the SCC, Sand Rock is a great place to climb, and with further efforts by people like Michelle Connell and Johnny Connell, who are officers on the SCC. Sand Rock is going to continue to improve and be a, a genuine climbing spot for, for years to come. The, the SEC and the climbers, they come out and do a real good job cleaning up and put a lot of effort into keeping this place clean. You know, and it gets trashed, you know, three weeks later. But, you know, never fail, those climbers will come back out and flip the dumpster back over when some rednecks flip it over or whatever. So, it's a real good community for climbing. Good, good people. Climbers unite against trash! No, yeah! Oh! <laughs>
Prominent parking ride. 